Howdy folks, I'm back once again to talk about a new instrument I've been working on. Ever since I finished the Teensy Gertie here, I've been using it and making jams and having fun, but it's also given me some ideas on things I could improve or change. Then I saw this great Mitzella video that I'll link down below, uh, where he talks about making his own breath controller, and I knew I had my next project idea. Generally, I'm using a lot of the same functions and schematic as with the Teensy Gertie, but for this one, it's obviously a little bit different. And just like the last project, it's open source, so link in the GitHub below for all the project files. If you just want to see the demo, skip to this timestamp. Otherwise, follow along and I'll take you through the details so you can understand how it works and even build your own if you want. The way this instrument works is pretty simple. You just blow into the mouthpiece and you push one or more of these 12 touch plates and you get sound out. The pressure sensor is controlling the cutoff of a low pass filter and I found it to be very expressive. It's really easy to make legato lines or staccato and all I'm doing here is changing how hard I blow and doing kind of a ta 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 to generate the fast attack. I decided to change up the tuning for this instrument and I made it fixed in software. I just put together a random scale that I thought sounded nice, but of course if you build one of these you can change the tuning to whatever you want. Another thing I added for this project was this joystick on the back an extra layer of control. The way I have it set up right now is that one axis controls resonance of the low pass filter and the other axis controls bit crusher. The bit crusher does make the sound rather harsh but I think it's pretty cool. And at the bottom here I've got two jacks, a mono quarter inch and a stereo eighth inch output. I found myself using a quarter to eighth inch adapter a lot so I just added both in this time. And another change I made from the last project was that this one runs on a 9 volt battery so here's the power switch. The case for this project is a 3D printed tub and I've got a mahogany faceplate on here. Due to the size of the instrument, I had to print the tub in two parts and epoxy them together. I've seen that there's a special glue for PLA, but I haven't tried it. Epoxy works just fine here. The mouthpiece is also 3D printed and I sized everything for vacuum tubing that I got from the hardware store. The key with this tubing is that it has four tiny holes here. This is what allows the air to actually escape since the pressure sensor in here is sealed. If you don't have enough airflow then it kind of makes it hard to get a breath in while you're playing it. Or maybe I just don't have good technique, I've never played a real wind instrument. This instrument was built mainly with things I already had before the great silicon shortage, so finding stock for some of these parts might be a little bit of an issue. I'm sure that you'll be able to find alternatives, but some of those may need changes in the code in order to make them work properly. And I'm also going to include some schematics in the GitHub page, but really it's just connecting things up like it expects in the code and running power and ground and everything. Also, you can omit the audio shield if you only want mono. Notes and Volts has a video where he tests that out. In the GitHub, I'll also be including some full-scale patterns so you can cut out the faceplate and uh, some mounting boards for the sensors and that sort of deal. That being said, I built this instrument in a way that I thought was cool, but I intend this to be more of a method than a recipe. This instrument will work no matter what case you put it in, so figure out what works best for you, be creative, and just have fun with it. The software for this project was pretty simple. I mostly just took the things that worked from the last project and changed the range of readings to work with the new sensors. Uh, here's a basic shot from the audio system design tool, which I think will explain most of it. Uh, but basically, touching one or more of the plates activates the corresponding envelope that allows the note through. Then they all get mixed together and they go through one filter to the output. Other than that, it's just reading the joystick and the pressure sensor. Also, 
the range of your joystick is probably going to be a bit different than mine, so you'll need to experiment with that. If there's any part you're not understanding in the code, the best thing to do is look at the resources I added at the top of the file. I'm not very good with this stuff, so I mostly start with examples, and then I just kind of change things here and there just to suit my application. Well, I think that's about it for this one. It's a simple instrument, but I found it to be very expressive and very fun to play. I like building instruments in series, and I do think that this one makes a good sibling to the Teensy Gertie. I'm going to keep on hanging down the synth corner doing jams and having fun. So without further ado, here's the demo. Keep on noodling, friends. Mm -hmm. 